Hello everyone, it's quite late in the morning. We'll soon be underway again. We spent the night in Lancaster. It was reasonably quiet. The morning was slightly different in that obviously the town is waking up. We're next to a major road alongside us and there's a bridge behind as well, which is quite busy. So there was quite a lot of noise this morning. But apart from that, it's been a lovely spot here. We've really enjoyed it, haven't we? Yeah, it's been a nice change for quiet countryside. Mm. So we're now going to make our way south. We're heading back down towards the marina where we hired the boat from. We've still got a couple of days in hand, which is lovely. We're going to go and make our way down to Gallgate and have a mooch around there. Not going to be doing a lot of filming on the way down, but if we see anything interesting, you never know. So that's it for now. Catch up with you a little bit later. I'm Alan. I own a 45 foot narrowboat, have an interest in industrial heritage, transport and technology, and invite you to join me as I cruise, repair and maintain my boat and visit events and places of historic interest. Today's cruise is just over eight miles in length, but we'll be stopping midway at Gallgate, or Galgate, a village with a population of just over 2,000. These basins were originally covered for the loading and unloading of barges. The timber yard and sawmill being on the opposite side of the canal. Second basin is coming up now. No mooring is allowed there. It is effectively a winding hole might even be shallow, it's very difficult to know. I'm really surprised at how few boats we see on the move. We've been going now for about three quarters of an hour. No boats have approached us, so we've not crossed any. As I said before, it seems to be mainly the GRP type of boat rather than the narrow boat that we're seeing. That was unusual, we just passed a boat. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> First one we've seen today. Oh, we're just comfortably numb. Another comfortably numb, wonderful. Look what I found. When we arrive in Gallgate, I mention that the name comes from Gallows Gate. But that may not be correct. The name Gallgate or Galgate actually comes from the Galloway Road, which leads to Scotland, originally called 
Galwaith Gate by 13th century monks. There are several variations of how the name Gorgate came about, but it is also considered locally to mean Gallows Gate. The last village which the condemned passed through before reaching Lancaster, their place of execution. As we were mooring up, it started to rain, so we've got our waterproofs on because some rain is due in the next hour or so. We're now going to walk into Gorgate and see what it's all about. <laughs> Gorgate, of course, stands for Gallows Gate, a popular term for where they used to hang people. Fancy that? Oh, <laughs> Folks are hanging around. <laughs> they were always at it, weren't they? Always hanging people. There's always someone to hang, wasn't there? Yeah. Always some witch. This has come off in my hand, look. <laughs> Is it? Oh, it goes in there. Okay, carry on. I can see that. Canal side, Canal side residence for sale. Oh, We're going to have a colourful wide beam boat. This is the plough at Gorgate. Nice garden they've got. The roads here are very busy because there's a lot of traffic signals with a four-way control. It's difficult to move about. The Condor Viaduct is a double-track six-arch viaduct of brick and stone construction which takes the West Coast Main Line over the River Condor and neighbouring roads. This bus is going to not end. You may recall I mentioned the Garstang and Not End Railway in Part 1. We've decided to go into the plough for a quick uh, drink, something to eat. Wind swept again. <laughs> Thank you.
Be careful of that gate, lass. Good boy, it's gonna be so rough. Rough? Rough. Rough, us boys. Us boys can be rough. Hello, Reggie. Oh, Hello, boy. Right. There's a good boy. Good boy. See you later. See ya. <laughs> We're just underway again. We're hoping to cruise for another hour to two hours, certainly an hour. And then after that, we'll be looking to moor up somewhere. Tomorrow is Saturday. It's our last full day. We have to have the boat back to the marina by nine o'clock on Sunday morning. We've still got a fair way to go to get back to the marina, so tomorrow there'll be more boating than stopping. <laughs> what say you to that? <laughs> That's fine. That's great. There she be, the Grassham Branch, bridge number one. Note the spillway is running today. turned into a really lovely evening. The sun is out. Need to watch where I'm going <laughs> as I'm talking to you side on. It is really glorious now. I wish yesterday evening had been like this. We actually stayed where we were in Lancaster but I think had it been a better evening we might have moved on. But this is lovely. What are you looking at? I'm just looking at the mark. Just going over the Cocker Aqueduct as marked by this stone wall. We've now traveled about one and a half miles. We're gonna carry on for the time being, and then we'll look for somewhere to moor up.
just want to start going all over the place when you're overstaying me. It really is a lovely evening, as you can see, the skies are blue, the sun is out, what more could we want? It's coming up to about six o'clock, I think. <laughs> it's dead on six o'clock. We got caught out here as we couldn't immediately see that the narrow boat was towing a smaller boat behind. Enjoy your walk, won't you? We will, won't we, Reg? See you soon. See ya. There's no rush. That could be taken two ways. Don't rush to get by. <laughs> We're in quite open countryside here. As we came up the canal, we did mark on our map book positions where we thought there was good mooring. And this is one of the positions we marked. We couldn't actually remember it, but we thought we'd head for it because it was a, a good distance from where we were moored just now. And it's about three miles from Garstang, where we might pop into again tomorrow. So that's uh, what we've decided to do. I'm just going to walk back to the boat now. 
Oh dear, I can see uh, Sally in the distance bending over. <laughs> I don't know what she might be doing. Something to do with Reggie. <laughs> So this is the company we've hired from, Crabtree Narrowboat Hire. We've been very pleased with the boat, very pleased indeed. That's lovely, all the best. Hello, did you have a good walk? Yeah, we've seen a brand new baby calf. Brand new baby calf? That way, and um, the, the swans and all the cygnets are in the field now. Oh. So that, that couple just moored up right between all the wildlife. <laughs> I told them about it, and they've moored up. Right, Reg, he's had a good walk. Right, where that boat is now. Richie. Hello boy. How are you? Hello to the viewers. Hello. <laughs> go on then, on the boat. Not towards me. <laughs> Gotta go the other way, haven't you? Come on, see if you can do it this way. He enjoys his walk too much, doesn't he? John, it's oh, oh. Come on, so cheeky. Oh, so cheeky. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. We've so far had six days of glorious weather, but our last full day is rather different as the heavens open up. Until next time, Take the utmost care. Bye for now. Bye everyone. Take care.